Are you tired of Halo Infinite and want to go back to the Master Chief Collection, but you forget that unlike Halo Infinite, you can't make custom controller layouts? Zoom and shoot not working for you? Recon not your thing? Bumper jumper just too... boring? Well then look no further than my guide, because with this cringy ass sales pitch... Uh, intro, <laughs> I'll show you guys how to make your own custom controller layouts for Halo the Master Chief Collection. Hey guys, what's up, it's Umber here, and I'm going to do exactly what the intro just said I will do. So, let's get started. So, I just want to start off by giving a few important notes before we begin. So, these changes that I'm going to help you guys make will also affect your inputs in the menu, or if you're on Xbox outside of the game too. So, try to make as little changes as possible so you don't make navigating the menus overly difficult. For example, if you want to do something like the Bumper Jumper version of Call of Duty or Apex Legends controller layout, then be sure to select the Zoom and Shoot layout in Halo so you don't have to make as many changes. So let's begin. So first off, I'm going to tell you guys how to make custom controller layouts for the Xbox version of the game or the Windows 10 version. So first what you're going to want to do is go to the Xbox Accessories app, which you can download from the store for free, and once loaded, go to the Configure option and click the Edit icon, which will allow you to make any desired changes as you see fit. So if you want the left bumper to map to A, you can easily make that happen by selecting LB and map to A. And there should be options for community profiles which you can access on the PC version, although I believe the Xbox app has this too, but I'm not 100% sure because full disclaimer, I don't actually have an Xbox anymore. And so next up, I want to show Steam users and non-Xbox controller users how to use custom controller layouts in Halo the Master Chief Collection. So if you want to play this game on Steam or you're deciding to commit heresy and play Halo with PlayStation controllers, so first you're going to want to go to Steam Big Picture Mode to do this. So go to Steam Big Picture Mode and access the controller general settings or you can just go to the controller general settings through the Steam settings. And once in, be sure to go to the controller section and turn on any options that apply to you. So PlayStation, Nintendo controller support, etc. And once that's done, click properties on the Halo MCC settings option and then go to controller and hit Steam input. And then you should be able to see a controller layout option on the page for Halo the Master Chief Collection on your Steam. So go there and similarly to the Xbox Accessories app, you can make any changes as you see fit. So go to like for example you want right bumper to be B. Go to the right bumper and then you should see a little controller icon and click where the B would be and you should be able to go from there. And from there, you guys should be good. For example, one of the custom controller layouts I like to use for Halo the Master Chief Collection is what I like to call the tactical zoom and jump, which is based off of the tactical bumper jumper layout from Call of Duty. So yeah basically the tactical bumper jumper i could just be calling that but i'm deciding not to but note that you can create whatever type of layout that you desire however like i mentioned make sure it coordinates with the button layout you're using so it doesn't interfere too much with the menu navigation so keep this in mind before you realize that you have to click the left thumbstick for a and the left trigger for b for example Anyways, thank you all for watching this video and I hope this guide helps you all out. Comment down below what custom controller layout you guys like to use for Halo, whether it's Halo Infinite or a Halo Master Chief Collection as well. And I will see you all next time. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see me make. I primarily make FF14 videos, but I'm taking a little bit of a break from right now, so I'm always looking to try new things. So I will see you guys next time and I look forward to what I have to show for you guys. Umbra, out.